According to a recent study, eight and a half million Americans believe they have been abducted by UFOs. But how can they be so sure? We prepared a story based on the testimony of the most reliable of these abductees, and it details the entire chilling process, a process that still has no explanation. Imagine a waking nightmare. You're paralyzed with fear. You're seeing things your mind cannot believe, but the pain tells you that what's happening is very real, driving the experience deep into your subconscious. Millions of people are convinced that this nightmare can be explained as an alien abduction. While there are many reported accounts of alien abductions, and each may vary slightly, they do have one thing in common. They can happen at any time, any place, and to anyone. When you're in their place, what are you going to do? Are you going to fight? <laughs> it does no good. You're, you're in a place where you don't know where you are or what's doing. If you cooperate, you know at least you'll get back home. Their bodies are checked by various kinds of instruments. There are anal examinations, which they will experience as a checkup. I was being invaded. The only way I can explain it is I know what it's like to be raped, even though I've never been raped. Needles are put in the abdomen. Uh, sometimes uh, in the vagina, and this is even with the little girls at the age of four or five. I've had eggs taken out of my ovaries several times. I've had about six ovarian cysts as a result of what's happened and the procedures that have been performed. It was absolute terror and pain, a tremendous amount of pain. It's obvious something is going on here, a real incident real incidents are happening it's not imagine imagination doesn't burn the ground to depths of 14 inches imagination doesn't run circles around our astronauts or our jet planes or show up on radar at incredible speeds and do 90 degree turns this is nobody's imagination this is reality one out of 40 americans believe that they've undergone an experience that science cannot explain skeptics argue that they may be suffering from some sort of a shared psychosis but what can explain the startling similarities among so many cases the hundreds of unexplainable scars and bruises the identical descriptions of extraterrestrials the common accounts of alien medical procedures it's very similar to what I saw. The colors, although, In the beginning, you know, there's usually no conscious memory of the abduction. Then strange images well up from the unconscious. Often the victims begin to question their sanity. These are the warning signs that something unusual may have occurred. UFO researcher Bud Hopkins is familiar with the symptoms. Of course, the most obvious thing is if you have seen a UFO or near you and, and you have a period of missing time that you can't account for, and waking up completely, totally paralyzed. Another one, of course, is <clears throat> a dread of a particular place which has no apparent cause. Then, of course, turning up after some kind of odd experience with a deep cut or a scoop mark on the body that wasn't there before. Seeing unusual lights right in your room with you, a ball of light zipping around, moving around, sometimes moving very slowly. And perhaps most disturbing of all, pain or discomfort in or around the sexual organs. And I would suggest that if anybody has had this collection, a particular collection of symptoms, uh, it might be well worth looking into uh, uh, the possibility that they may have had these experiences. The difficult aspect of any case of abduction is that the experience is usually buried deep into the subconscious. The victim has little or no recollection of the event ever taking place. It's not until later, sometimes years later, that something will trigger the event into conscious memory. It just sort of sleeps into your mind slowly. Little pieces start falling together. You say, maybe this is happening. But you start putting it together with other events of your life and with other things that you know. And it starts um, making more sense. And then you have to decide whether or not it's something you want to look into. Most people that come to me fear that they're going crazy. And they really hope that I will find something of a psychological nature because they know that can be cured or, or helped. Uh, most do not want an alien experience. In fact, I can't think of anybody that wanted to have this experience. The tool most often used to bring the suppressed memories to the surface is hypnotic regression therapy. Using this technique, abduction researchers have pieced together a scenario of the events that might take place if these abductions are in fact occurring. Under hypnosis, the memories, however unbelievable, come out. I would wake up in the middle of the night and 
One instance was I could see lights outside the yard. I could see lights up in the sky. I tried to uh, raise him. I, I shook him to try and wake him up because of the, the light coming into the bedroom windows. And then when he would not uh, awaken, that kind of made me fearful. There's a blackout period, or many times there isn't, and they feel themselves completely becoming paralyzed. I can feel that whole paralysis starting from my feet all the way up my body. And what's going on is that they're put on a table paralyzed, usually without their clothes or just underwear and nothing else. I was totally restricted. There were no uh, physical straps, uh, nothing I could see. It was almost as if somebody just super glued your back right to the table. They get the feeling that they're preparing the room for surgery. Something will be inserted uh, way up their nose, uh, uh, very, very high up. They'll hear a crunching sound as it kind of goes past the cartilage. When that penetrated through, I could feel it bust through, and it was extremely painful, and the being immediately put his hand on my forehead to take away the pain. It's almost every case that I come across, there's head procedures done. Needles being inserted into the scalp, uh, into the ears, behind the ears, um, in through the eyes. Another important part of it is a very complex reproductive element here. And that uh, involves the taking of sperm samples from the men, the taking of eggs from the women, uh, sometimes the re-implanting of an egg that has been altered in some way. The last thing that they did was uh, scan my whole body from end to end with something that came down out of the ceiling, which I can only assume or was maybe an x-ray machine. or so That's the only thing I can associate it with related to our technology. I know this sounds crazy, but um this is what we're finding. Um, this happens, like I said, almost to every person that has an experience. For some people, it's easier to simply dismiss or pretend these events never happened and go on with their lives. For others, it's not so easy. For in choosing to confront their experiences, their lives are changed forever as they find themselves living in fear. Well, it's like part of your life is just taken away. You always have that question mark over your head. You know, where, what happened, what, you know, why can't I count for that time? What's wrong, is it my memory? You know, you're always wondering what. People like me have to deal with trauma over and over and over again. And there's that anticipation and that fear and never knowing what's going to happen. And that's what the difference is. I can definitely relate to trauma victims, but at least their trauma's over. My trauma goes on and on and on, and I believe will probably continue for my whole life. I think what we need at this point is uh, science to simply say, okay, okay, it's going on. I want to look into it. What's the matter with that? Encounters will be right back.